Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah. If you are new here, I'm yeah. my very yeah. subscriber. Yeah. Thanks for coming back. And if you've not subscribed already, yeah. click the red button down below and join the family. So, basically, you guys, this conference is yeah. our yeah. Islamic Finance yeah. Stakeholders Conference and Award. Uh, and uh, yeah. I'm just volunteering, so we are helping with registration and coordinating the guests that came for the program. So, come with me. Let's get into the video. <laughs> There's a man that comes to refill the sweet container every every hour, like literally. We've taken everything and now it's filled up again. So he's coming to refill it every time. I guess that's the plus thing. Maybe once we are free, I'll take you guys inside the venue so you guys can see what's going on. Inside the venue. Yes, so you guys, this is the prayer room. We came to like locate the key black because it's almost time for solar. But it was nice. At least they are accommodating. Has it become your hide? So what is bank with the man? They have been disturbing us to open accounts in their bag. And funny enough, they are bribing us. If you open account, they'll give you this bag. <laughs> this bag. Is that what five? No, you, you said that one five. What? You said minimum of package. I have yeah, five thousand. Two thousand. <laughs> two thousand. Give me a bottle. Yeah, banker chief. They are named like brand. Oh yeah, come. And then they'll give you a handbag. <laughs> See, they told us that if you fund, when you put the account, you fund 2000. No, 15. He said 15. They'll give you back, they'll give you all those things. Now, because see that all of us are opening accounts, now they are start paying 5000. Where is your investment bank? How much is the minimum um, amount to invest? Hi, guys. <laughs> Salman, yeah, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Hi, Uncle <laughs> Lotus. Eh. <laughs> Say salam alaikum. <laughs> yes, of course. So honestly, what's your name? Okay, Laisha. Okay, nice to meet you. Farouk. Say hi. <laughs> First of its kind. No, this is not the first of its kind, but uh, this year's event is uh, a bit big. Okay. It was actually like giving back to the members. Okay. So, Sam Alekum. Sam What's your name? Okay, my name is Naila Shine. Okay, is this your first time volunteering for a program like this? <laughs> Honestly, it's my first time volunteering. Are you in this line? Are you in this financing line? Is that what you study? I'm not doing uh, Same here. Exactly, exactly. They came to look for us medical to today. For us. <laughs> Next year, would you would you come here to volunteer? Uh, inshallah. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Assalamu alaikum, sir. 
alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, it's nice to meet you. What's your name, sir? Okay, my name is Abu Bakr Sadiq Muhammad. Alhamdulillah, your brother in Islam, and I am the Amir or President of One Okay. So, our question for you, sir, is as undergraduate students that are Muslims, what do you think they can do to go into the field of Islamic finance? In terms of investment, savings opportunities, what are your advice? Okay, so Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah, Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam wa sallam wa sallam Now, uh, Islamic finance, uh, interestingly, um, it affects not just uh, one who is an undergrad, or someone who is working, or who isn't employed, or who is an entrepreneur, okay. or who is very young. It applies to everyone, okay. right? Because the concept of Islamic finance um, is looking at preserving halal and promoting halal. Mm -hmm. The hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, where we study or we learn from Arba'un hadith, inna halal bayin wa inna haram bayin. That verily what is halal is clear and what is haram is clear. And as Muslims, one of the things that is prohibited from us, in fact, it is amongst Saba al Mubiqa, it is amongst the seven destructive sins, is the consumption of riba. Okay. And as you know, the entire globe, or a lot of, you know, a lot of markets, or a lot of financial systems, they are run on riba based principles, capitalism. Yes. So for us as Muslims, um, what are those things that are halal, Sharia compliant, that when we're involved in them, when we do them, they actually help us to promote what the Quran and the Sunnah promotes, and they also helps us, uh, it also helps us to keep a close relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, having halal earnings is also a means of earning salvation in the era. And I hope that these words I've shared yeah. are beneficial. May Allah bless you. Amen. Jazakum Allah khair.